The strange thing about this film is that when I was writing it, I thought I was making a movie about death. <laughs> While I was making the film and when I was editing it, I realized, oh my God, you know, the, I thought I was making a movie about death, but, it, but instead I've been making a movie about life. I had just made this movie, Emma which was more of a comedy. I wanted to move back into something more introspective, a little bit more personal, and uh, something extremely real, very autobiographical. And this is really the closest you can get to some kind of diaristic approach to filmmaking. The exciting part of making a film is uh, discovering what the movie is about, really, and I kind of discover what it's really about when I'm listening to the actors and when I'm listening to whatever input the actors have. In a movie that is very actor-centered, like late August, early September, I had to use very skilled actors who have an ability at improvising. This is really like the closest to some kind of dogma movie, I suppose, I've made. I mean, in the sense that we use this very light Super 16 camera, which is great because it's just so simple, and we used a very sensitive star, which we pushed one star, which means that basically we could be shooting with almost no light. But then the texture would be very grainy, but for this movie, that's what I wanted. The space between the chapters is extremely important. When I was writing it, I felt the, the movie was very much about what has happened during that lapse of time. The division of the movie in chapters obviously refers to the literary background, I suppose, to this story. The central character, Adrien, turned out to be a writer. He was someone who had a relationship to art, and I wanted somehow to have that relationship to art present in the film. The most simple way to express it was through the simplicity of that drawing of Joseph Beuys, which to me really symbolizes everything that art should be. You know, it should be the very pure expression of an individual at a specific moment. It really made sense to me that the one thing, the one person session that the character of Adrien really treasured was this one simple drawing which somehow the one person he can pass on that drawing to is this teenage girl he's in love with and because she's the one who has the purity or the inner beauty to understand it and who's the only one who can own that thing. When I was writing the film I thought there would be a lot of music. When I edited the film, nothing worked, and the only thing that worked was that very, very simple Kora music by uh, Ali Faka Touré, who is this musician from Mali I really immensely admire. And that worked because it's just so simple, so thin, and you know, it just kind of links things together in a graceful way, and it's, it's everything that this film needed. I wanted to see if I could make a movie that was entirely based on emotions. It was just my shot at trying to capture the feelings and the emotions of real everyday life.